so I'm sorry. Can't do it. Who are you truly? A figment of imagination? A phantom of the opera? Uh, a mood? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I'm going to consider myself as. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm in my crib bored. I was listening to like all my music when I got bored. Damn, I had all this hair right on my fucking chin. It was annoying. Your city calling and we love you. Love y'all too. Know what it is, man. I know what it is, man. What rum, you guess? I don't know what you're talking about. 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 Alright. I ain't never drank this pink Moscato. But on today's edition of being on live board with Wi Fi's funeral, we drinking a motherfucking bottle of pink Moscato. I don't know why I have this at my crib. Actually, I do know why I have this at my crib. This is not mine. I did not purchase this pink Moscato at all in any form of way. I don't even fucking drink pink Moscato, but I'm bored as fuck. So, we finna do this. I don't even drink that shit, nigga. No real. Why you talking about his face tattoos? Oh, shit. Shit. Apparently he wants to talk about him if you got him. You ready to drink this eight dollar ass fucking bottle? This shit is nasty. I know this shit. I'm not gonna lie. Me and my ex, we drank like two bottles of this, and we were smidged, like. Like really, 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 Why did you fall off, bro? What happened? You're talented as fuck. I didn't even know I I fell off, bro. To be honest with you, I didn't know that somebody falls off when you don't really like when you don't hit a specific point that you wanted to type shit. I mean, like, bro, like, I didn't really, like, bro, I was at a, at that time, bro, I didn't really care about, uh, fame and all that shit, and I was really more concerned about, like, my mom and shit, and just, like, my actual deal that I was in, because I'm gonna fuck deal right now, so, you know what I'm saying, it is what it is, uh, I think that's probably what affected the whole, um, falling off shit, bro, you feel me, but. If I did fall off to you, I'm sorry. Uh, definitely making more music. You feel me? We definitely just released the album. And we got more projects. You know what I'm saying? You know what? It's not that bad. It tastes like shit, but it's not that bad. Uh, 17? It was like 2017. I, um, I got signed on my 18th birthday. And, yeah, uh, basically, I just didn't look at the deal at all. I love Alamo. Alamo is an amazing, uh, record label, record company, especially what they do for their artists, shit like that. So this is, uh, no disrespect to them at all when I explain the story at all. But, um... That deal wasn't as, uh, was not as smart of a deal for me to sign at that time as I thought it was. But at the time, like, I was homeless. My mom, like, had cancer and shit like that. And, um, nobody was, like, nobody was really taking care of us. You feel me? Like, at all. So, yeah, basically, uh, 
I just signed a deal. And I didn't think twice about it. I just thought about being able to, like, help my mom and my family and shit like that. And honestly, I should have thought about it a little bit more, to be 100% real with you. So if I if I had thought about it a little bit more and I had uh, thought about that situation a little bit more, I wouldn't have put myself in that situation. But being fucking 17, homeless, literally, like, you got nothing to your name. You don't got like nothing to show for and you just been fucking making music you sacrificed your whole life to making music and your mom's sick and she's got cancer and you can't really do shit about it like you tell me what the fuck you finna do probably won't be the best decision feel me not every not the right decision isn't always the best decision so you know what i mean that's 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 the lesson that i learned from that so just you, you know what i'm saying So for all up and coming artists, remember that. Think before you put that shit. So let me just think. You still in a deal with Alamo? Yeah, uh, I am still in a deal with Alamo actually. That I am. So. <clears throat> So yeah, that's basically what had happened and shit, bro. Why don't you have a lyrical lemonade video? Um, to be real with you, I don't know. Me and Cole are definitely friends. Um, I love his work. He's an amazing fucking. I, I look at I don't look at Cole as a videographer. I'm gonna be real with you. I look at Cole I, like I give Cole the same respect that I'd give an artist. In my eyes, that's kind of like what he is. You feel me? I I I think Cole's an artist, and um, yeah, just him being the artist that he is. I definitely love his work. Always loved his work, and shit. And he's an amazing person, an amazing talent. You know, but um, I just don't think we've gotten to that point, me and him, where we both have agreed on a record that we both like, and that we were both like, yo, let's just let's do a, a music video to this. You feel me? Um, there's definitely like no personal problem, no personal issues or anything like that. Like me and Cole, good ass friends. Anytime that me and Cole talk is always like, you know, picking up from where we left off. You know what I mean? He showed me so much love when I was in Chicago for the first time. I never knew I had fans in Chicago until he actually, um, booked me for the Lyrical Lemonade fucking, uh, for the Lyrical Lemonade Festival, the first one. That was the first time I ever knew that I had fans like that in Chicago. I didn't know that. You feel me? So shout out to Cole for that, definitely. And um, yeah, you know, hopefully we'll work soon in the future, bro, you know? Uh, and when it happens, it's supposed to happen. I feel like everything's supposed to happen with right timing. Feel me? You satisfied on how your label's working with you now? Um, I think I'm in definitely a better position than I was when I first signed with them. When I first signed to them, uh, I'd say that, like, me and my label, we just did not, uh, we just didn't see eye to eye with a lot of shit. You feel me? We just, it, it was just, you know, I, I, it was so hard. And this is another tip for a lot of artists, too. Um, it was just very hard for me, at least, to, uh, I wore so many hats within my circle at the time. At the time, it was just me and Tarek. And me and Tarek did so much shit. Tarek's not my manager now. But me and Tarek had did so much shit. So where me and him were playing like five to seven different jobs and it wasn't just about uh it wasn't just about the fucking uh whatchamacallit about the music. So making like I can't really complain about Alamo to be honest with you. You fuck with older women? I My bad, I had a response to a text message real quick. Um, you want Zans or nah? Nah, I don't do that shit, bro. I don't really, uh, I don't really partake in drugs like I used to. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I don't partake in drugs, but I definitely slowed that part of my life down tremendously. <laughs> tremendously, tremendously, tremendously. I'm just trying to make sure that I'm still alive for not just like my fans, like from my, my parents, you know what I mean, my little brothers and little sisters. I'm the oldest in my family, so I gotta kinda like set an example and shit. Feel me? All that shit was cool when I was like a kid. And like 
you know, there's certain times where, like, I'll do me, but for the most part, now nah, I'm not on that shit, like, every day, like, how I used to be. Used to be on it every day. If you're really my friend, you'll know I'm not on it, like, every day. Are you and Danny still cool? Uh, I don't got no problem with Danny. I don't got no problem with Danny. I didn't even know that we had a problem, to be honest with you. So, no, nah, I don't. I don't got a problem with Danny. I'm glad to see you doing good. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that shit. You still fuck with Max P? Yeah, uh, me and Max, when I was recording uh, Pain in California, actually, me and Max had met up for the first time in like three years. And we had kind of like picked up from where we left off. You know, there were some things that like had to be said just because of like when you have a, when you have a friend and there's like so much of a separation gap between you and that friend, you just don't kind of know where each other like stands type shit. And me and him hadn't seen each other in a minute. But, you know, we definitely picked up from where we left off, definitely expressed uh, things that we felt or that we were bothered by within that three year gap of not us uh, fucking with each other as heavy as we used to. But, yeah, bro, everybody go fuck with Max P. Go listen to Max P, bro. Like he's cool as fuck. Cool ass nigga, bro. Still one of my brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? Booty or boobs? I like ass. I like ass way more, to be honest with you. I'm not a tit guy. Like, you can have small titties and I won't really, like, it won't bother me at all. You fought with Skepta? Yeah, I fought with Skepta. Skepta's fire. Investments? Well, I'm gonna be real with you. That's something I never... But after fucking my money up and, um... Getting... Getting it back, basically. Um, I'm really, like, big into, like... Well, not, I'm not really big. I mean, I've always been on real estate. A lot of people around me have been on real estate. And now I'm actually like I'm dipping and dabbling into it and shit like that. So that's what I'm really about to focus on next is like a lot of real estate shit. So I'm about to start investing in and just, yeah, you know, see what it is, you know. Something would not be on the album. Uh, nah, I, I, I haven't done a song with Amir since, uh, Fucking peace on, honestly. Yeah, no, real estate's definitely good. Like, if you got a bag, bro, for real, like, and you really trying to do something with it, and you really trying to, like, it's not about right then and there, but it's about long term, like, what you could do and what, how that shit could profit you, like, five years right now, like, six years from now, like, seven years from now, bro. Real estate is definitely the way, bro. I've seen the brokest of broke go up just off real estate, you feel me? So, definitely. You still keep up with any other 2017 freshmen? Nah. I mean, other than Namir, like me and Namir talk, uh, me and JID are cool. I don't got a problem with JID. Um, Blockboy JB was cool when we did the when we did the photo shoot. So you know, I mean, other than that, I don't really talk to nobody. No, no disrespect, though. I ain't got no problem with nobody. Ain't no beef. It's just, you know, they're, they're, those, uh, it's just, the relationships just didn't, like, flourish or didn't even make, you feel me? Anyone you had beef with at the moment? Bro, I don't got beef with nobody. Even all my old ops. On and off the...
You should try. You should try drill. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna try drill. I like, I like drill. I like drill. I'm not gonna lie. Ocean, Ocean was really fun making Ocean because it didn't really sound like a like a drill song to me. I like hopping on drill beats, but I like singing on drill beats because I think that shit's different. Not a lot of people are doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Not a lot of people are like saying like some smooth like shit for the bitches, bro. Bro, that's and that's one thing I wanna I wanna talk about too, bro. Like. I'm doing a lot of the singing shit, not just because, one, I like it. That's one. That's number one before anything. I love it. I like it. Um, and two, bro, like, I want more women to feel comfortable listening to a Wi-Fi Spino song. You know what I mean? I don't want them always listening to, like, me talking about fucking dumbass masculine shit that dumbass masculine, like, 15-year-olds and up probably want to listen to. No disrespect. You feel me? I, I just want to be able to make it uh just worldwide for everybody. Something that everybody can relate to. Something that everybody can uh feel. It's not just uh it's not just split between one specific gender of person. But yeah, if you're trying to do drill music, I would suggest like Eric. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, just do you, bro. It's just fire. It's just, it's just fire. You know who the rapper Killy is? Yeah, I know Killy is. Killy's fine. Killy's fine. Killy's definitely fine. Show your hands. Okay. <laughs> Here's my hands. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this barefoot is actually good. I feel like a disgusting bitch drinking this, but this is actually fine. That nigga put that many trash can emojis. That nigga named Lucas. I can't even get mad at him. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Think about how you want to twist your voice for your audience. I mean, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Revenge hoodie. No, that's not a revenge hoodie. What are your thoughts on NASCAR? NASCAR Allo is five. NASCAR Allo is five. How'd you find Kill Zero? Uh, shit. How did this story happen? So, Kill was friends with my homeboy Dylan that owns Aspects. I went to go visit Dylan because Dylan had lived in fucking LA at the time. And I was in LA for like two months, two or three months just working on music and shit. Um, next thing you know, I go to his crib. Who do I see there? I see Kill. I didn't know that I was Kill. I didn't even know what the fuck Kill looked like at all. And we had just introduced to ourselves to each other like da 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 da. Um, bro didn't even tell me that he made music until fucking uh, until my boy told me that he made music and shit. Yeah, until Dylan told me that he made music. So. I had no idea. I played him my shit. Then he played me his shit. Told me who he was. And I was like, bro, like, you're the fucking truth, boy. You're the truth, nigga. And, yeah, we were friends from there. And then I feel like our, our friendship got stronger. Because he was best friends with Juice. I was best friends with X. And uh, Juice had just passed away. And I had, I gave someone that we both knew my number and I was like, yo, give it to Kill just in case if Kill wants to talk about anything. Because I definitely, like, I understand what he's going through. Like, I know what he's going through. You feel me? And, yeah, from that point on, like, you feel me? Like, our from that point on, like, you feel me? Like, we just, just became best friends and shit, bro. And, yeah. All right, I'm off the shit. I love y'all. Y'all be easy.